In the first usage of Node MCU ASP 12E Dev Kit version 2 by Biolal. Today I am going to show you how to use Node MCU ESP 12E Dev Kit version 2 for the first time. At very first, let's call this board as Node MCU Development Board, although it has got ESP 8266 mod mobile mo module on it. That makes this board is fit to call Development Board enough, or whatever you call it is okay. Now the MCU board lets us to go to the internet via Wi-Fi. Such shields are Junior Wi-Fi shield, Ethernet shield. Now the MCU is much more powerful than the others. I think the need list. First, now the MCU ESP 12E Dev Kit version two. Note, there are two version type of now the MCU. Now the MCU version 0 0.9 with ESP12 module and Node MCU version 1.0 with ESP12e module. On this instruct table, I will use Node MCU version 2 ESP12e, which is refers to Node MCU version 1.0 with ESP12e module. Arduino version 1.6.8 knows as 1.0 for ESP12e module, although it's version 2, so I can say that version 1.0 means version 2.0. That's because of Arduino side, not about Mode MCU, the source. Read more. Second, Arduino IDE. Third, your computer. Windows is okay one here. For micro USB cable, 5 Wi Fi network. We need SSID and password to get used on next steps. Wireless modem would be okay. Note, while you give an, while you give an energy to Node MCU via micro USB cable from your computer to do that, ESP8266 ESP onboarded module may hot. This is moderate. I mean, there is no danger. A little bit heat is not seen a dangerous thing for our module. The aware surface is hot enough. Note, on here, I'm using Microsoft Windows for Linux users. Please check this link. Step 1. Let's take a look at overview. On top side, there is another board that you can see. This is the ESP part. ESP8266 is a module, but this is on board the circuit organizer, which lets which let us to connect over Wi-Fi. On the rear side, there is a written name given ESP12E Dev Kit version 2 and the link HTTP www.doit.am for reference. Step 2. The first time to connect to PC. When we make a connection between Node MCU board and computer, there is automatically driver loading window that you can easily learn which COM port number that you that your computer had gave. Mine is successfully loaded to the driver and gave me COM port number 15 to access to my Node MCU board. There are two black buttons near the micro USB port. One is reset, other is flash. When you click on the reset button, you can see ESP8266 sites. Blue is blinked. Step three. You have to use Arduino IDE to program Node MCU. First, install the Arduino IDE from download section of Arduino.cc website. Also check my instruct table about installing, updating, removing Arduino IDE from here. Second, run Arduino IDE is Arduino.exe. Three, Arduino IDE file preferences. Shortcut is Control Plus Comma. Settings tab. On additional board manager URL, site, type this and click OK. This JSON object will bring necessary driver from Node MCU from the website ESP8266.com to our Arduino IDE. For Arduino IDE, Tools, Board, Board Manager, type Contributed, click on Install or search ESP8266 from the search bar. 5. Arduino IDE Tools Board Node MCU 1.0 ESP12E module Note. We have Node MCU version 2, but we select as 1.0. Focus on the inside of parentheses. ESP12E is more important than this. Step 4. Blink code for Node MCU Hello World Lead. On Arduino IDE, File, Examples, ESP8266, Blink. Attach Node MCU to your computer with micro USB cable, then click on Upload button to upload your Blink codes to the Node MCU. 
This code will run your modems use blue red for one second then close in a forever loop. Now we have working modems U board just like an Arduino board basically. Note. On this site, it's mentioned that Arduino IDE version 1.6.7 may not work well with NodeMCU. If you face such an Arduino IDE problem, you need to update your Arduino RDE problem program. I can tell you how to update your program now. Step 5. Let's make some LAN joy. Hello world on browser. On Arduino IDE file, example, ESP8266, ESP8266 hello server, Modify these lines. Your Wi-Fi modem's SSID name, the password for the Wi-Fi. Then click on Upload button. After uploading, you open Serial Monitor, click on Reset button, then learn which IP address you need to use from Serial Monitor. Note, we are using baud rate as 11.52.00. Now you did it well. That's all.